Millions of Americans are heading out of town by road and by air this Memorial Day weekend, and they're having their patients tested for two reasons. First, there's a near record breaking number of travelers, and then there are the widespread storms, including some here in central Arkansas. Chris Van Cleve has more on what you can expect if you plan on heading out of town. Major gridlock on an L.A. freeway halting the Memorial Day getaway. Shut down for three hours during a police standoff. And those pulling into LAX just found another traffic jam. Brake lights outside. Let's look at this line. And these long lines inside. And it wasn't just Los Angeles. TSA line was probably the longest I've ever seen it at Cincinnati. Thursday, the TSA reported its second busiest day ever, screening just shy of 2.9 million, with even more expected today. TSA Administrator David Pekoski. Just banking a little bit more time. In addition to being patient, be kind to other passengers. Holiday travel, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's make sure our staffing is up to par. At the FAA's Operations Center outside Washington, D.C., it's all hands on deck this weekend as teams monitor more than 50,000 flights today alone and a forecast that includes potentially disruptive severe weather. What keeps you up at night? The weather. If the weather's good, I'm happy. Uh, managing volume is easy. Managing the weather is not so easy. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg spoke to Face the Nation's Margaret Brennan. In terms of weather, certainly a number of thunderstorms affecting a number of hubs. Last year, 1.3% uh, cancellations. It was the lowest in a decade. We're pressing the airlines to keep that up. But most Americans, an estimated 38.4 million, will drive. Mary Harrison is road tripping with her husband, her sister, and their five young kids from Georgia to Pennsylvania. We are having to drive through D.C., so we're going to hit some traffic, but we're ready for it. We mentally prepared ourselves. Now drivers may want to mentally prepare for more traffic Sunday and Monday between 3 and 7. TSA expects Monday will be its busiest day for, of the trek home.